what up what up what up it's the kickback kid what's good what's cracking this is gonna be part four of detroit become human crazy game so far if anybody's been uh checking it out then i ain't gotta say nothing because they already know man good game love quantum dream oh man this hey i gotta admit though I'm not even gonna deny it. This game is long, yo. I mean, like, I didn't know it was gonna be this long. This mess is crazy. <laughs> but I'm loving it, though. I'm enjoying myself. And if there's any viewers checking it out, I'm hoping y'all enjoying it as well. Shout out to the Motor City. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured oh, me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Uh, nope. I don't think so. No problem. Maybe another time. <laughs> she gonna Good come afternoon. back and kill me. Welcome to the Detroit. Never trust a pretty face. But, hey, even worse than that, never trust an android with a pretty face. <laughs> don't do it. I hit you with the Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, don't do it. Not good. That's no good. Holy snaps. Marcus. What the hell did they do to you, bro? My cap, my, uh, this corrupted audio data damaged. Um. Impaired vision. Okay, so my eyesight's messed up. Uh, all systems in low power mode defective. Last but not, man, they towed me up. Left and right leg components uh, missing. Unable to stand. God damn. Come on, Marcus. You're a warrior, bro. Let's do this. There we go. Slow and steady, bro. Take your time. Oh, god damn. That's my leg. What about my other leg? Fine. Let's just take our time. Okay, cool, cool. Damn, I didn't quite catch that, but I don't think I can use it. Nah, I can't. He just threw it. Hey, man, all over that jerk. Sit up. Come on, man. Sit up. Damn, I guess this is where they trash the androids. Plug that in. Oh, 
I'm back. Look at this guy. Hey, bro. I'm. Can, can I talk to you? Nope. You're done. Oh my God. This is Andre Hell. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. All right, I guess I'll keep that in mind, man. I gotta make it out of here first. No, Marcus. Don't look back. Look straight ahead. Let's keep it moving. stuck don't tell me this is a dead end I gotta get out of here come on they're not giving me anything to interact with okay well I guess I gotta go back Jesus maybe I can talk to that android or something wait this fence here no come on I gotta get out I don't, I don't want to go back, but I don't know. I, I think that Android might have more information. Come on, man. I can't climb on anything. Jesus. Look, man, you got it. You, can you inform me with anything else? I guess not. Oh my God, I can go back here. This seems like I'm going deeper into the Android hell, though. Oh, I guess it's the way out. Oh, oh! Get off of me! Uh uh. Where are you going? Off me, bro. You gonna be here to ride, not me. Damn, you know something? I honestly forgot the place that Android told me where to go. Okay, hold on. What did this say? No, I can't. My GPS is broken. Did I come from down here? I don't... Ah! I guess not. Get off me. Um... I'm a... I, I don't know, man. If it's for me, I gotta take it. I'm sorry. I need that. I gotta, I, you know, you're just about as good anyway. You're just about as dead anyway. I had no choice. question is why did they decide design these uh and design these androids excuse me with this i don't want to die consciousness it's the weirdest thing why did you give them emotions and why did you give them 
I guess an understanding or some type of like knowledge or just some type of software where they comprehend what life and death is and they think that they can live and die. That's the defect if you ask me with this with this whole thing. Just make them androids, make them do what they need to do, and don't give them emotions and don't give them a consciousness. But that's only if you ask me. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need that eye, bro. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite maintenance center. Man, Marcus is just on some cannibal stuff right now. He's just picking apart these guys, piece by piece. Okay, I need an audio processor. I don't want to look at you. We all bodied up in here. I mean, literally, look at his body's laying everywhere. This is crazy. I mean, this is chaos. Oh, wait, what's going on? Damaged parts. Okay, what do I need again? Okay, right. Audio processor, find one. What? Just in your hand like that? Okay. Plug it in. buggy I think we're back all right I gotta climb the slope is that what they said yep wait no I don't want to investigate Yo, tell me why that looks like, uh, it kind of does, the, the droid that was trying to protect the girl. Let's hope not. Alright, Marcus, let's go. You and me, let's do this. All because of that jerk-off son of, uh, our, uh, oh! Come on, you got this. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Play that hero music, because we going to the top. Ah, wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. One step at a time. Never mind. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to focus here. Did we make it? We made it. <sighs> That's right, you're alive, Marcus. And whatever Android type of a way that means. Put it this way, I guess you're a functioning computer.
Whoa. I wonder what made him remove that. Did, did he know something about that? Or is he just trying to look human? Or was it something about that thing on his head that he knew? He knew something about it. <laughs> That's right, Marcus. Let's go. You can't kill him. At least it doesn't seem like it. All right, let's rock. Let's rock. <clears throat> Stretch a little bit. Uh, there we go. Hey, next day. 2038, November 6th. Wait, I'm back. Well, he's back. Cool. This is nice. Little doves and whatnot. Let's cross this bridge, man. It's a celebration. It's a beautiful day. You know, we took a bullet in the head, but I guess they reprogrammed us or whatever. Do I have like a new Android master? Who's this guy? How you doing? Or ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, can I say something? No? Okay. Wait, yes I can. I can barely see that. Hello, Amanda. Excuse me. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I wasn't really listening, so I'm gonna just press square. I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I don't know. I'm actually kind of lost in the conversation. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hmm. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. All right, well, let's do this. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You might be in shock. And where's his desk? 
Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Okay, I think she told me to take a seat. Where do I take a seat? Oh, fine. Oh, fine. It's death. Anderson's death. Um, it ain't here. That's a lobby. Wait, are they talking about the desk up here? Look at that dude. You and you come with me. He's still walking around. <sighs> like he ain't got a care in the world. Like he's not a child abuser or something. If I could, I'd mix him right now. I didn't even see his face. Okay, um, anyways, I gotta focus. Um, they say find a desk. Yeah, we know. God bless them. Thanks for your service. Jesus Christ. I hate when I get in these situations with this game. I'm already bad enough with the controls. Let me see. You're not going to let me out? Exit. Up here. Let me exit. Do I have to talk to you, douche? No, I don't. Don't cross the line. Got it. Up oh, here we go. So open lane. You ain't. Oh, I just came from there. Right, right. My bad. Security guard. Oh my God! Let me out of here, please. Up oh, here we go. Nice up in here. Uh, what we got here? Miller. I'm looking for Anderson. Nope, that's Reed. How about this guy? Nope, Brown. Uh, I don't think you're Anderson. Peter's, uh, person. That, nah, whatever. What we got here? You know, I noticed picking up these books, they seem almost kind of pointless most of the time. Put it down. Let's just find the desk. Nope, put it down. There we go. Anderson. I'm looking for Anderson. I just came from this area. Are you Anderson? Mr. or Mrs. Anderson? I'm looking for an Anderson. Oh. How come you have the same name unless I already went to that desk? Anderson, where are you? Yes, I got you. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Listen. 
Okay, learn about Anderson. So I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and just violate his desk. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yep, examine his desk. Man, when they, when you don't have your stick control down properly and they start hitting that little swerve, they start doing this and all that, they be just, look like they just swerving and just cutting. It's a funny animation. All right, let's analyze. Okay, I don't think anyone really cares about donuts. Okay, cool plant. Coffee cup. What's the point? All right. We're going to bring it way over here. He got him a little fitted hat. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what type of team that is. And Detroit basketball. Maybe something like the Pistons. Come back this way. down here. I see the square. We're going to say that for the last. We're going to get all this stuff first. Huh. Bringing his dog hair to work. Uh, next, we got here. Matches. Must be a smoker. Don't know if this is really useful information, but okay. Yes, I think we already kind of know that. And what do we have up here? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory yet? and sent me to replace it. Labyrinth. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! That's crazy. We really need the forensics. Alright, I'll chase it up. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, let's see, explore the office, enter the office. Uh, I guess I'll explore the police station. We got the break room. Let's get a donut. All right, that's it, boys. Take a break. Shit. Look at that. A fucking ghost. His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. You jealous? You jelly? Hmm? You jails? Man, because I could just bounce back like that? I'm going to greet you, Hello, but I'm going to be sarcastic. Freed. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? Um, I'm gonna refuse. I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to answer you. If you have any questions, please contact exactly. your superior. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on. You know what? I am absolutely not going to bring sorry, your coffee. But I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. I'm an android. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy.
Come on, all the way up. There you go, fix that tie. He ain't phasing nobody. Anyways, let me get a donut. Can I get a donut? For the prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was TV. available to answer our question. <clears throat> The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Designed by CyberLife, okay. the AI known as Voltaire analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the plot of the novel. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors nope. to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artificial intelligence. Looking nice up in here. Oh, this is where it all went down. Let's see if I can go to the restroom just to do it. Oh, I could. Looking sharp. Not just come in here. Wait, nope. Eh, nothing in here. I'm out. Look at this guy. What? Who would you look at? What are you looking at? I knew it. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, Yeah, I ain't the one locked up. <laughs> Wait, let me go back. One more time, one more time. Look, you locked up. They won't let you out, no. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at this guy. He like he had a long night. You know who needs to be locked up? That child abuser dude. That's who needs to be locked up. Oh, I can go out. Let me out of here. I want to leave. Guess not. Um... I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk? Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Come on, man. You look like a new student. Well, he is actually he's another android. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. 
I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Man, these, these humans are jerks. Um, I guess I'm gonna start if working. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hundred and forty three files. First day, cool. I wish I could have read that fast. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. What are we gonna do here? You know what? I'm gonna be aggressive. I haven't been aggressive in a if while. If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, you should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. Fuck. Hmm. Um. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. The things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Oh yeah, well, I know a guy by the name of Marcus. My boy Marcus just came out of the dumpster. So now what? What now? Alright, um, damn, I'm thinking, should I go in one more? You know what, let me see, I'm gonna try to squeeze that in and forget it, because I ain't really even doing anything. I'm running around the office, trying to, what, uh, Make this relationship with this this human. It's like, man, yeah. Let's let me see if I can get a mesh. I'm gonna squeeze something in here. I want some more action, man. I don't know about y'all, but I want some more action. It's cool and everything, but the whole simulated whatever. But you know, I don't know. come on now. We need more than this. All right, here we go.
Well, I'm glad nothing happened to us. Explore area. Alright, got it. Up, oh, what's over here? That looks like Android blood. Can I pick it up? No? Man, I wish I could, like, put that in my arsenal or something, man. There's too many creeps. I know it's daytime now, but still. Scissors, let me take that. Hey. Yes. What is she doing? Trying to hide her identity? <clears throat> I guess so. Clever android girl. You know, um, it's really going to throw them off. We're going to go blind. Um, oh, my eyes. I want them to be... Uh, we're going to go brown. Um, hey, I didn't push that. Oh, hair color. I, I, I want it. I did want, um, blonde. No, that, that's too obvious. We need to get the lighter color. We're just going to rock with this right here. I'm finished. Oh, what? She's removing that thing, too. Like I said before, they either know something about that thing that could be doing something to them in particular. Uh, or they just, well, they're trying to hide their identity. That's more than likely what they're doing. Because I'm sure that's what that is. It's just, you know, it's like their little ID. Come on, get it open. There we go. Ah. Hey, I didn't get it open. All right, well, let's see if we can find something. Man. Hold on. I seen something over there I can examine. Oh. This is interesting, man. It's, they dis they discriminate against uh, robots. Um. Yes, I can pick that up. Come on, we know what we're doing with that. It's pretty obvious. Why do you need... Okay, well, other than, I guess, for, like, identity to throw people off, you don't need it. Now you're going to get cold and feel it and just be like... <laughs> okay, so do I keep scanning the area? Because that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Um, oh, what's this? I got something to read. Let's see. Uh... Cyber Wildlife, First Android, Open Zoo, uh, da, 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 da. is this even important? Let me see. In Canada. Still Android Free Zone. <laughs> Ain't that something? Cyber Wildlife. Sweet Cyber Wildlife? Jesus. They got cyber 
human life and then cyber wildlife. Okay. Let's put that down. Um, let me see. Maybe we could get this little girl and get going. Come on, let's go. Am I still supposed to be scanning the area? I guess so. Okay, I'm gonna hit this area up one more time. No, I read that already. That makes me nervous. Come on, let's get up out of here. Well, I don't think they're gonna recognize me now. Um, damn, okay, so. I read that. <laughs> Funny, I was just gonna say this game reminds me of a lot of heavy rain, but they're both developed by Quantum Dream, so. That obviously makes sense. That it would remind me of heavy rain. Okay, I see. It looks like something's open over there or something. Okay. How can I get over there? Let me see. Um. Is there anything over here? Can't grab a ladder? No. I can't just go out the... Dang. <laughs> she did the spin a Rooney. And you dig it, sucker. Let me see. Um. Yeah, they're not letting me out of here. So, I gotta do something. Okay, what haven't I not did in here? Um, don't mess with the car. I mean, do I need to read this more or something? Something I missed? Oh, there we go. Come on, get her out of here. We leaving. Guess we're not leaving. Alice. Wake up, Alice. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Come on, kid, let's get out of here. You're pretty like that. You Thank really you. look like a human now. <sighs> okay, let's try not to get seen. The police are on our trail. All right. That's all for now. Here you go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. It 
took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Damn, okay, we just gonna go straight. Watch out. Gotta move fast. Swerve. Hit the corner. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, they're gonna see me, dude. What the hell? Turn, uh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo. I don't think there's no way around this. I think I'm just going to get caught. Okay, let's see. Can we get in the back of this car? Nope. There we go. We're moving now. We're moving. Dang, that was close. I thought it was going to hit 100. Okay, swerve him. Um, this way over here. Cops are not over here. Come on, man. Let me cross the street. There we go. Why is she stopping? No, take, take. want to keep you on the edge, huh? Let me out of here. Aw, oh, man. Come on, dog. That's why I'm going in here, dog. Straight ahead. Oh, it won't get far. We'll find it sooner or later. Let's go. I think we made it, kid. All right, well, check it out. Look, I was looking for more action, but uh, I guess that's not what I got. I didn't get what I wanted. I'm going to just go ahead and stop it right there, you know, um, keep it 60 tops, maybe a little bit under 60. Um, I like this game, though, so far. It's kind of like a movie. 
you know i mean still i wish i was more i wish the players could be more hands-on you know have more of an interaction you know but it's not that type of game it's predominantly a story-driven game which is totally fine um well anyways if you enjoyed the vid and you stuck around big ups to you shout outs you know and um yeah definitely leave a like leave a comment uh subscribe sharing always helps you know i'm new i'm fresh you know what i'm saying i'm a new booty you know and yeah i'm on quite the journey i know i got a long road ahead of me so yeah from the ground up i'm excited about that though i'm happy about it um and um i'm happy for all the people who will enjoy and love my videos so yeah really appreciate y'all or appreciate the ones who will eventually become those people anyways um this is kickback gaming you know what it is i'm outro god bless peace